Why is this year so different? Uh, it's it's it, you know to me it's not that different from last year. We did everything but win races last year. We ran second over and over. Uh, we ran consistently. We were a strong car each week. We just couldn't take that next step. And and when I knew in off season if we continue to get better as we had each year, we're gonna we're gonna do it this year. We're gonna win races. We finally go, gonna go to Victor Lane and we started off in Daytona with a win, and that was the. That was the, you know, that was, that was the sign that I needed. That I knew, hey man, this is the year we're gonna finally, we're we're, we're right there. You said on Friday here that every race comes with more emotion because of the realization that this is it with Steve Latart. Why does that emotion? Basically, what's the genesis of that emotion? You know, I appreciate him, and he appreciates me, and I appreciate that he appreciates me. You know. You got friends out there all over, but there's there's only a few that that you know that really get it. What being a friend's all about, and, and how to how the, how it goes back and forth, and it's a two way street. You know, it's 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 storybook and 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 mushy, but damn man, I mean it's uh <laughs> it's a good thing to be in, involved in something like that. It's a good feeling. You mentioned friendships and how to be a good friend. How have you become a better friend? When I was younger, my friendships, when I would think about my friendships with people, I valued those friendships by what they did for me or how, what the friendship, what I got out of the friendship. And I always was amazed and in awe and appreciated people that, that went the extra mile and would do all these awesome things for you. I'm like, that's an awesome guy that does, you know, treats his friends so good. I wasn't that guy. Why? Wow. I just didn't know how to do it. I just wasn't, I was, you know, I just didn't, I, I didn't have it. But you grow up and then you, you know, you, I, I went to the bottom of, you know, I went to Crapville in, a, in my career and just had the roughest time. And I really got to see like, you know, I really got to see how you need to really appreciate not only the good times, but the people that you're with when those things are happening. And I started having these friendships with, uh, with people, even when we weren't running good, that were that that I valued because of what I could, what I could, what I could add to it, instead of what I could get out or get from it. I started valuing friendships by what I could add to it. If I couldn't win a race, what could I do to make somebody's life different? Otherwise another way like how can I be if I'm not gonna be uh, you know the best guy on the racetrack that everybody loves how could I just be somebody's friend you know and just be valuable to somebody otherwise so I had to really kind of I started being that guy and now you know we're running great and I'm not gonna turn into the other guy who just wants to you know <laughs> get something from everybody but uh, now I'm now I can do good things on the racetrack make my team happy make my guys enjoy what they're doing but also I can, I can add to people's lives, you know, I can add to their friendships and, and be an asset to them. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.